Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Gaz Gosler. I probably mangled that name, I'm so sorry, but I did my best. Uh, so I've already gone in, spectated, scouted out my paths, and I chose this team to go in here with. All right, so in section one, I take path two. And my first fight is going to be against Thor Ragnarok. Now, this is actually a pretty decent placement for him, given the node that we are going to have to deal with. Okay, and I'll talk about that in the... Uh, in the uh, fight but you see strike counter fury which i'm used to but you also saw power struggle that with thor ragnarok's mechanics makes him actually a pretty good placement here so uh when you hit thor ragnarok 20 times uh he's going to get a crazy power gain and you need to fire off a special in order to stop it all right so i didn't pay that much attention to that particular node all right, so every time he fires off a special, you lose any power that you had. See, I have no power now. So tell me, if he gets to 20 and fires off a special and I have no power, how can I stop him? Look at this. All right, now at this point, I could have fired off my special two and drained him, stopped it, and we would have been good. But because I was not really prepared for that, it went all the way to a special three, but we were able to get our special three off and take him down. Trust me, I was sweating at this one. Uh, but that's just because I hadn't paid so much attention to that power struggle node and was all about the uh, strike counter fury. All right, so I'm like, okay, we can't have that happening again, all right? So next up is Thing. Now I'm not gonna take uh, Corvus against Thing. I'm gonna take my Omega Red, who I also need for section two, all right? So fighting Thing, not too difficult if you know how to manage those rock stacks. That's the big thing with uh, taking him on, okay? All right, so you see here, you know, I'm basically managing them, uh, baiting out specials, all right, and here we go. You know, fire that heavy off to try and get some of those on, right? Now, uh, we went ahead and uh, fired off this special too. Now, I want to pause here. This is when I knew I done messed up. All right, look at his rock stacks. The problem is that the special two from Omega Red does way more hits. So what's gonna happen? I'm going to push him past 15. He's gonna go unstoppable, which means he's gonna be able to block me. And then if he so desires, counter me, okay? So I'm looking at this and I'm gritting my teeth. I'm like, oh, I don't believe I just did that, okay? Um, but I'm like, all right, I've got full health, you know, almost full health, so I should be okay. All right, let's resume so you can see what happened. Look at that. Now, from all that health to dead, let me explain because it's actually a pretty decent placement for Thing on that node. So Strike Counter Fury means that you're gonna keep building up Furies as the counters go down, you know, hit zero. The problem though, and why it's a pretty decent placement for Thing is that he can't be nullified. So you can't get rid of those Furies. So they just keep stacking up, all right? So you really can't get hit if the fight goes on for a while, which it's going to, you know, Thing has his protection and everything like that. Uh, so the fight is going to go for a little while. And see there, I messed up again, but this time I didn't die because he hadn't had a chance to build up those Furies like he did in the last fight. All right, 
but that's how I messed up, you know? And I looked at that and I was like, oh my goodness, two hits. That was it. You know, he had enough furies. Thing can't be nullified. Uh, I didn't even think about what that meant for thing on this node. All right, so basically you can't get hit, take him down. You know, it's, it's a pretty interesting placement for thing but you got to concentrate. I could have taken him down with Omega Red had I not made that mistake. But with that particular note, it makes any mistake extremely punishing. And one of the reasons that I dislike Alliance War and what they've done is they've made it so that it's so punishing. Now, uh, no one here had a decent counter for uh, Void. Uh, we were all running suicides and uh, didn't bring proper counters here for him. Now, I could take him out with my uh, Warlock. Warlock could do it, uh, but I had another plan. I had a plan because I was trying to save my Warlock, uh, uh, and he was already hurt, and I knew I was gonna have to use items already for Omega Red, so I decided to go in with Corvus. Now, my Corvus is not awakened which means he will die if the fight goes on for too long and I start taking too much damage, all right? But as you can see here, I'm just trying to go in, blitz him. One of my Alliance mates had tried already and Void took him out, but we were able to get Void down before he did too much damage to us. All right, so that was the first mini down. All right, so now, we're gonna move on to section two because I didn't touch that cord. I had thought about fighting that cord with my Omega Red, but that fight with Thing killed all that, all right? Because I was definitely planning when I did my scouting to uh, hit that Korg up. But yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Now we are in section two and this first fight, easy another charge for Corvus uh, I'm pretty sure it was a diversity option there uh, but again no reason not to boost up except if I forgot to boost up the only reason that I wouldn't boost up all right so you know we've got two fights so that's plenty uh, to boost up with and I've got plenty of them uh, in my overflow all right so Nothing really too special about fighting uh, Platinum Pool here. Um, he's awakened. I'm not even sure if that makes any difference. I know he gets random buffs, so uh, I guess it just depends. Maybe he's more difficult depending on which buffs he gets. But since it's random, you know, he might be a good defender or a decent defender uh, to a bad one. Uh, but as you see there, I had no problem taking him out. Um, he is a stubborn defender. Uh, that was something that I didn't realize when I was, uh, uh, fighting him, but it didn't really make, uh, any difference really. So this here, now this is why I brought Omega Red. Okay. Omega Red was supposed to take out that Korg in the middle there and this Korg on my path. That's why I chose to bring Omega Red. So, you know, I've got the revise, but I hate using items. I'm sure you guys understand. I have to be very frugal with my items because I don't spend and therefore I don't have the option of just grabbing a bunch more. I'd have to use my units, which are very, very precious because I don't buy units. All right, so uh, now ironically, uh, I used items you know, because I had to revive him. I was not going to take try and take uh, this Korg on with a, a Corvus. I could have, um, but I wasn't going to do that. And so I knew I was going to have to revive him anyway. Revived him, gave him a little bit of a health potion, which I've been uh, buying with glory. Uh, one a day as I could. Uh, but in AQ, I actually had an itemless run. All right. Uh, so that was actually a, a nice thing. Didn't use any items in AQ, 
but then I ended up using some items here. So, you know, we still used items at some point in time, but I like it when I don't use items in a queue. Uh, it means that I'm getting used to it. And uh, uh, that is, that's gonna help me out a lot. All right, so we're just fighting Korg. We know how to fight Korg uh, with Omega Red. Uh, one of these days I might bring in uh, Havoc. Havoc also does uh, extremely well against uh, Korg, and in my opinion, uh, is a better Korg killer than uh, even Omega Red. Um, but one of the problems is the nodes. You have that strike, counter, and it will lock you down with your power, so Havoc may not ever be able to get to a special three. All right, but that's all the fights that I did for this war. Uh, let's have a little intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, I don't believe they were really trying. Um, they did a little bit of exploration, but I think they gave up. Um, I don't remember exactly when, but we knew we had won uh, this war. Uh, before it was over, but we always try to get all of the bosses down no matter what But that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day